uh, today we're going to be building out this brand. Um, so one of the cool things is the person on, uh, one of the people on the call right now is actually uh, into this particular niche. So uh, I can lean on them a little bit when asking questions, but we did pick the spirituality niche um, and we got some stuff rolling. But before I get started and get really into this stuff, I want to start with my motivational quote today. I want you to do something today that your future self will thank you for. There we go. Remember, we're doing this so that in the future we can do the things that we want to do. Keep that in mind. All right, and remember also, dress for the job that you, don't dress for the job that you have, dress for the job you want, and obviously you can tell they want a job that lets them kick some butt. All right, so we left off last call um, with spirituality is gonna be our uh, domain name and the name of the company. So there's a lot of work that we need to do to get this up and running, and we're gonna do it in 30 minutes or less, or else it's free. Um, so real quick, if, so I can get started quickly, I have till about 6.31 to get this done. We are gonna be going through and we're gonna be making a quick um, uh, logo, so let's start there. Uh, Hatchful is my favorite go-to for a logo. Is it gonna be great? Oh, heck no, uh, but that's okay because, well, it doesn't need to be great yet. We'll fix it later. Um, so it doesn't really fall under any of these when it comes to Hatchful. So I'm just gonna go none of the above, and then we're gonna go with classic and natural as the two that I wanna see. All right, so pick up the three. That's not it, spirit of do, 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 do. Yep, that was Blue Skidoo. Man, I'm not liking any of these. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is that a toilet? No, it's a... It's not a seagull. Uh... Huh. Well, great news. I don't like any of these. But we're off to a great start. Um, we're gonna keep going through. We're gonna find something that we can use for now. Um, perfect, we'll start here. We'll see if there's any other logos that we can... I don't like those colors. Look. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with like a, uh, a blue, purple um, uh, palette. Uh, so there's a Calton is a huge... Uh, source for everything when it comes to colors because I'm terrible with colors. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to here. We're going to play with this a little bit. Um, I think we're going to go with something like this. It gives me the blues and the purples that I want. Now remember again, it's not going to be perfect when we first start out. Um, fonts, something a little bit lighter. Um, I don't like the... So there's two types of fonts. There's serif and sans serif. This is sans serif because it doesn't have any of those hard edges on any of the letters. This is serif because it has that hard edge like that. Um, so sans serif doesn't have those hard edges. Um, so keep that in mind. I think serif does, uh, it plays a little bit to, um, you know, being relaxed, laid back. Uh, so this is, this would be a sans serif because it doesn't have any of those hard, uh, edges to it. Um, so we're going to go with that. And I think that this will be, uh, yeah, I like Canva. We'll come back to this. If I don't find anything I absolutely love, I will go to Canva, but remember we've got 30 minutes to do this. I really like to challenge myself. So let's go ahead and, um, so spirituality is our main keyword. And I, I've got to move this because I'm trying to do this quickly. Spirituality. So spirituality is going to be our main keyword. And we're going to use that to gather seed words. And while we're doing that, we're going to have our keyword shitter uh, running. So we'll have spirituality going right here and we're going to shit some keywords out. And then answer the public, we're gonna put in the same thing, spirituality. So this is just giving us as much information as possible, as fast as possible, so that we can get this rolling. Um, because we need to know a little bit about our brand. We have the website already ready to go. We're gonna to go to palette and we're gonna find a color palette once we figure out our logo. But for right now, we need to figure out which route that we wanna go, because I think spirituality really lends itself to a much uh, broader uh, niche than, than I think we're uh, originally thinking. So we're probably gonna niche down into something a little bit different. Um, Center for Spiritual Living, the Metaphysical Shops, uh, Spirit World, Adyashanti, Adyashanti, Spiritualism. Let's check this out. 
let's add spiritualism and see if we can get some more results. Nothing. Crap. Crapola. Okay. Spiritual healing might be something. Um, but let's go over here and play with our one C word that we had. And we're going to go to questions. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a kind of a route that we want to go down um, in regards to the entire spirituality niche, right? So um, how spiritual or how spirituality is connected to religion, how it works, how it helps, how it affects health, depression, and, uh, how spirituality enhanced what? How spirituality affects child welfare, relieves stress. Um, so here we go. That's, that's a really good start to our seed. Um, so you're not going to see this because it's going to be on a different screen. Um, and I apologize. I'm talking quickly because I want to get this done in 25 minutes or less now. Things that are spirituality. Um, so we're going to put that on. Hey, there we go. Things that are spirituality. I don't want to say spiritual. Um, so what we're doing here is we're, we're doing our check for long tail keywords. Now, long tail keywords are how we're going to rank quickly with this. And then we're going to work our way up to the main keyword, spirituality. Um, chances are that we're going to be selling something that's like an ebook or a course, um, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, spirituality can be can cure depression, best defined as, uh, can be described as Quizlet. Okay, that's a Quizlet thing. When spirituality and creativity are one, spirituality when things go wrong. When okay, that's actually probably going to be really great for objections like spirituality. Why should I be spiritual? Um, nope, no thank you. And science meets spirituality. What what is the ego? What is it? Home means to you. Ba, 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 ba. What is important? Education, recovery, all oh, spirituality so popular. Um, so why is spirituality so popular popular? We can answer that as a question. And we're gonna go down here to spirituality with prepositions can be taught essay. Um uh, can't be defined, can be best described. Can spirituality help depression? Can spirituality and religion coexist? That's probably a really great question to answer on the spirituality page, especially if you want to get somebody who's not necessarily on board with the idea of spirituality. Um, so we're just, again, guys, I'm not doing anything crazy. I've never been, uh, I've never done anything in the spirituality niche. So I have no idea what any of this is. I'm just gathering ideas um, and then taking them so I can get more research. And we're going to do a little bit more research together. Um, spirituality. To help anxiety sure why not all right spirituality with honey okay um spirituality without religion without god damn we're not going to go there um spirituality and mental health we'll go there and then i saw another one which was just and health um yeah spirituality and health uh spirituality and whew, mental health health religion sex practice alcohol depression science sexuality dementia Okay, uh, spirituality versus religion. That is going to be a huge one. We can actually write an entire series of blogs about spirituality versus religion. I know that one. Uh, spirituality versus science. Again, I think we could do the same thing. Um, uh, versus faith. That's good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Religious, uh, religiosity? Religiosity. Okay, spend enough of my time, five seconds, trying to figure that one out. Okay, cool. So we have some ideas, and we're going to go up to here, and we're going to go back to our keyword share. It's got 2,000 keywords for us, so we're just going to kind of take that and rewind it back. Nope, that's not what we're going to do, Joe. That's the wrong song. Okay, so we're done with that for now. And we're going to go into here. So spirituality. Uh... Let's type in one of our long word, long keywords here. Can spirituality and religion coexist? And we're going to take a look. Zero to ten. We're not getting many uh, searches. Spirituality to help anxiety. Nothing. Okay, so we're going to go back to the top level here. There's a great reason that I'm, I'm excited about this, by the way, because since we're not getting any results, um, there's low competition on spirituality. Um, but I'm sure there's people who are going after this. So we probably just want to go after, this is the first time I'll say this, probably want to go after this right here, spiritual healing. Um, so we're going to put that back into, oh, I, I closed it out. Okay, that's all right. I can do that later. Um, we're going to probably uh, take our seed as spiritual healing. And then anything we got out of the keyword shitter and spiritual healing, we're going to, we're going to take that 
and we're going to use that as a part of our content strategy. So we've got spiritual healing, uh, ten to one hundred thousand uh, per month. It's about a dollar if we want to advertise to the top of the uh, page, all the way up to five dollars and fifty-five cents. Um, so if anybody knows what's going on next, it's going to be Max Bounty. Uh, we're going to go in here and we're going to play a game. We're going to say Max Bounty. I need some ideas. I'm going to pause the share for a second while I log in. All right, we're going to resume that share. So we're going to go into Max Bounty and then we're going to go for a search campaign real quick. And we're going to say spirituality. No matches. Okay, so we're going to go back to Cookbank. And we're going to do one more too. IDPLR. So same thing. I'm going to stop the share for a second. We'll log in. Cool. We're going to go up here to marketplace and spirituality. Free spirituality connection. Okay, so real quick, if you want to find a product for this, you want to go towards gravity. So gravity, what it's saying is that this is the average amount of people that are actually making money off of this. The higher the gravity, the more people are doing it, but the more they're making money. You don't want to go after necessarily the highest per sale. Go after the one that everyone can do because guess what we're new to this so manifestation magic i remember this one i was actually thinking about doing this and I'm like this just sounds really scammy and stupid so we're going to do this one i think and then uh oh god no i don't want that i will leave that there and then we're going to plr here and then spirituality uh no i don't thank you Keeping spirituality, learn all about the benefits of spiritual resolution sometimes. So let's take a look at this and see if it allows us to give away for a list builder connecting with your spirituality, connecting with a higher power, discovering Jesus. Uh, more spiritual life. Okay, balance of physicality and spirituality. And 110 self-improvement boosters, leaving legacy, spiritual supremacy. Ooh, I like that one. That just sounds good. <clears throat> Okay, so real quick, we have to say optimize. So I know that manifestation magic is all about manifesting uh, money and, and good things happening around you. So that may not be the route that we go, but I know that uh, it's, it's pretty easy. Unlock your hip flexors. Uh, newly optimized, 90%. Cornish, Cornish, All right, so spiritual supremacy, does this allow us to, yes, can be sold, used personal, packaged with other, modified, uh, can be used to build a list, perfect, that one works. Can be used to build a list, perfect, that one works. Yep, yep, and yep. All right, so spiritual resolutions, be good to yourself, keep up with prayer, nope. New age. Okay, nope. Um, what I'm looking for is healing, right? So like we were trying to find something that healing. You're just you're trying to calming your mind, using mantras, using yoga, the benefits of spirituality. I think this is the one we might go with. And then our balance, three pillars of life, what disturbs this balance? Nope, no thank you. Uh, basis of spirituality. Understand oneness, calming your mind, using mantras and social. Actually, I, I something guided me towards this. Consider it my spirituality. I don't know. Is that Am I using that word right? I don't know. All right, so we're going to use this as our... Uh, top level funnel page. This is going to be what we do to build our list. And then with the list, we're going to be trying to sell one of our click funnels or ClickBank uh, products. So this is going to be our top level funnel. This is what we'll push out to people saying, Hey, look at me, I'm spiritual, or you want to be more spiritual. You want to have a better life. You want to, you know, we're all talking about resolutions this year. How about we connect with ourselves a little bit better instead? Um, so we'll do that. So this one we will download. We have an idea, we have a product, and then we're going to find a secondary product. Um, free Reiki energy bracelet offer. Okay, um, fibroids, miracle, what? Hey, so what the heck's a fibroid? Fibroid? Uh, okay, cool, not interested, sorry. Okay, so, all 
I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find something that kind of uh, that, that that's going to complement this. We have 16 minutes left to do this, so we have, uh, we have to find something that's going to complement this. We have our keywords. Spiritual healing is what we want to focus on, and then we have to figure out something in here. So we're going to go back to the marketplace. We're going to go to the top level. We're going to go down to here um, with uh, where is spirituality, and then. Ugh. Maybe gravity. Myers Briggs Chakra Tree of Life Necklace. Hell really exists through the Bible. It's that Jesus. We're striking out hard, people. That's okay. All right. So uh, if you have an idea of what else we can do, if not, we're probably gonna have to find another product. Um, general. OMG manifestation magic mega head. Uh, newly optimized. Gosh, 10 minutes awakening is fire. There you go. Spirituality, health. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, so while we. Hey, Pedro! We're doing a 30 minute. Uh, we're going to do everything for a brand in 30 minutes just to prove that it doesn't have to take a lot of time to do this. A uh, message to share with you from deep beyond the known universe, from the eternal source of truth, blah, 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 blah. Release stresses and burdens of your daily life. Health. Woo, health. All right. Dreaming, whatever. Cool. Skip ahead to the Bangladesh Celestial Treats. Ooh, I love treats. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it looks like we have um, our idea. We're going to promote that. We'll generate ourselves a hop link, and we'll play with that later. Uh, but basically I have a hop link now, we'll hop on pop and we have an idea. We have, we have keywords. Spiritual healing is going to be in our keyword list. Spiritual healing does have 10 to a hundred thousand people. Um, and it also looks like it's going to be pretty low competition, which means we'll get pretty decent clicks. We'll have our first page in our funnel is going to be this page right here. It's going to be all about spiritual supremacy. So the way we're going to build this funnel, and let me go ahead and start up Builderall's Funnel Builder, and then we'll talk about it real quick. Um, oh, this loads. Ah. If you guys didn't know, I'm super hyperactive. That's why I have the, the moniker Manic ma Marketer. Moniker Manic Marketer. And then this is your spirituality funnel. And from the description, spirituality, come on. Next, next, <clears throat> perfect. And then we're gonna be generating leads. And we're gonna do a blank page and then I'm gonna move this empty select, cool. And we're just going to kind of bring that on into here. And now we have an empty canvas. So real quick, before this is up, um, I will go to Canva, I promise. Actually, you know, let's go to Canva right now and see if we can make a little bit better. Um, I'm going to pause the while I log in. Log in with Google. Boom. And resume share. And we'll create a design, local. And nope. Okay. Hey. That's pretty good. All right. Ah, uh, though it's a, mm, I don't know, maybe. Keep that, keep that in mind, everybody. Pretty good. All right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to find something that's not gonna be too much or too little. Let's 
spirituality templates, question mark, exclamation point, spiritual journey, do, 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 nope, 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 nope. All right, so no bueno, that's okay. Um, I just don't like using black as my background color, so I wish they had this in, with a transparent or a white background. Although I suppose that I could just go and hit remove VG and make this white. Uh, really not finding anything else worthwhile. Ooh. I spoke too soon. Ah, it's paid. Boo. Boo! Ooh. Come on, I didn't even click you. You're an accident. All right, I'm, I feel like I'm just wasting my time. I think we have a better thing with Hatchful than we have with that. Um, we'll come back to it. Uh, we'll start with this. So this will be our logo for now. Um, obviously, I'm probably going to play with it a little bit because I don't love it, uh, but that's okay. I wonder if there's... Anyways, we're going to talk about the funnel real quick because this is the last element. We have 10 minutes left to build this funnel. So right here, we're going to go to our landing page. Our landing page is going to be a quick... Um, so we're going to edit the landing page name to um, IDPLR email capture. Ooh. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So in the IDPLR email capture, what we're going to do is we're going to take their information and then we're going to um, have them fill out a form. Uh, so they're interested. We'll do an opt-in squeeze page. So they fill out the form um, on the form successful form fill out. Then we're going to have a to successful so subscription confirmed. They're going to go to a page. Come on, where is the page? Thank you page. All right, so thank you page. Uh, so in this thank you page, this thank you page is going to say, hey, thank you for taking the journey with us. We're super excited that you were doing it. Um, and then we're going to have an email sequence. That email sequence is going to take them through a couple of different pages. Um, so, but we're, we'll talk about that in a second. So the thank you page though is still going to have a, uh, a, a link and the link is going to be check out this offer for ta -da, the newly optimized awakening is fire. Um, so we don't even know what that offer is because I am a terrible individual and I didn't scroll all the way down. Perfect. Try it now. How much? Just, I want to know how much. All right, so, oh, we're within the next 20 minutes, 88% discount. Uh, so we'll have like an 88% discount code at the bottom of that thank you page. It says, hey, for 47 bucks, you can absolutely change your life, 60 day risk-free guarantee, whatever. Um, we'll leave the selling to them. So once we give them something for free, they're gonna trust us a little bit. So now we have the opportunity to then, um, this will link to an outside uh, VSL essentially, which is what that was. Um, so video sales letter, and then this was the edit page. This was the, um, ClickBank affiliate page. Okay. So I just want you to know that I did not plan this out before I started, cause I think that's cheating. So all the work that we've done so far has been top ahead. I haven't done any extra work on this since we talked about it Wednesday. I hadn't even thought about it. Um, and then this checkout does go to, a, this is a separate, so this is, uh, we're gonna edit this and it says checkout. This is actually, uh, it doesn't let me, oh, title, uh, click link, checkout. So um, what we're gonna do is, okay, thank you, cool. Um, once we get them in the email sequence, we'll have a blog page. So we're going to have this, um, link to, do, 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 we'll just say, a, we'll say confirm email. Oh, son of a biscuit. I want this to be the VSL. I have to do this video sales letter. This is edit. Click back. So anyways, 
I'm gonna leave that as it is because I don't wanna screw it up again on the live call. Um, great thing about doing live calls is that you never know what's gonna happen and you never know what you're gonna screw up while you're doing it. Um, so real quick, this is, this is our plan. Um, so plan of action is we are gonna go in, we're gonna get an IDPLR product right here, Spiritual Supremacy. We'll build up that page in, um, in Builderall. We have the website, spirittotality.com, so they're gonna land on that web page. That web page is gonna give them a free, uh, a free book on how to be more spiritual. That's our opt-in squeeze page. They're gonna fill out the form. The form fill out is gonna to go to a thank you page. That thank you page will be thank you. We look forward to the journey with you. Um, here's an uh, offer for 88% off for the absolute best blah, blah, blah. And that goes to the quick, you know, the quick bank product. Don't know why there's a second checkout there. We'll just sever that tie. Um, and then that will go to the quick bank checkout. Done. Okay, so our page that we'll have to build up is gonna be already in here, I'm no doubt about it. So let's see, preview. I'm not gonna log in. Um, so this is what I do. And, and this is why when people talk about, oh my goodness, uh, you know, it's so difficult to do this. It's really not hard. The hard part is building up the content. Don't overthink this part of it. We got it done in 25 minutes, okay? So what we did is we, we started, hey, we had, we had the website that we need, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna find a product at IDPLR to give away for free to build our list. We're gonna find a product on ClickBank for, uh, for free to sell to them, and we're gonna get a commission off of it. We're gonna go into Builderall, we're gonna build out our funnel to say this is the way we're going to actually build this out, and then when we're done, all we do is we hit create the website, and it creates all of this for us, and then I would just put in Spirit Totality. That's it, and then we have a logo, oops, now we have a logo already made, I'll have to go back there. Um, we, we can just put that in. We have our keyword list, and our keyword list is also a keyword shitter. It has like 2,000 different things that we can put in there, and that we can go through and we can look and see, hey, which one of these do we wanna rank for? I can tell you right now, the way that this is built and structured, we probably don't wanna rank for, uh, we'll, we'll be able to rank for just about anything. So we don't wanna just go down to the ranks and be like, hey, well, we're gonna only go to 100 or 1,000. We're gonna stretch a little bit and we're gonna to go to spirituality and, and try that a little bit, but we're gonna really push for spiritual healing, which is at the 10 to 100,000 per month. Um, so spiritual healing, I bet you if we go into here, so we're gonna go back through and we're gonna say spiritual healing. Uh, spiritual, and he even looks spiritual right there. Look at that. Now he looks evil, spiritual healing. Um, so now we're gonna get a visualization. We can use this information to narrow down our keywords even more. And we can create a content strategy based off of these keywords. Now, if we didn't like our, our logo, we can go to Canva and change our logo, right? We have that right there. I don't really like this logo either. Um, so yeah, I can, I can do this over and over and over again with an idea. Am I going to always have a great idea? No, unfortunately, uh, these things take time and energy to come up with. Once you have the idea, don't stop hamstringing yourself thinking, oh, it's got to be absolutely perfect. Uh, oh, good call. Tree of life. I bet you that I can change this out. put this into this where this is at. And that would look really dang good. So there you have it. I'll do a little bit of, uh, oh, I wonder if I can get this done. We'll save this image as, oh, no, it's a WebP, great. All right. Yeah, I'm not gonna get that done in the next three minutes, sorry. Um, but yeah, so we have we have an idea, Tree of Life, we'll put that in. Beautiful, great idea. Um, and it was all done in less than 30 minutes. Granted, I speak fast, I think fast. I'm a, I'm a little bit nutty. Was there any part of this that after eight calls, was it been, has it been eight? Holy crap. After eight calls, is there any part of this that doesn't make sense? like why we're going to look for keywords or why it's important to, to, to have like the IDPLR set up, uh, why it's important to have a, a good ClickBank product, right? So the, the one key is spirituality to all of this is that we have to go back and actually put it together. And even though we've done eight other calls and they've been about half an hour to 45 minutes of good content and then questions, um, 
we have to remember that if we don't put it together, then it, it's all for nothing. So we've got this great product. I, I, I have a series on uh, YouTube about how to build an IDPLR page from the, this content right here. So we'll build that page up. Everything's done in Builder All, super simple. Um, and, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, and I, I'll build this page next week. Uh, next week, we're going to be showing you how to promote this to all different sorts of Facebook groups to try and get a little bit more exposure without getting in trouble. That's the hardest part, not getting in trouble. I mean, we all just got to go, um, and then uh, we do a little bit too much. So I'll show you what you need to do and how to do it. And that was it, 30 minutes. Well, 29. Questions, comments, concerns, emotional outbursts. Yeah, do not get in trouble with the Facebook police because I swear they know everything about you before you even know. Um, and they're listening. Uh, they're, they're listening, even though I think this might be off because I have some water damage to it. Nope, it's on, they're listening. Ah, Facebook is wonderful. I will never say that. I will never say that out loud. Facebook is great. I don't want my CPMs to go up. Please don't. Please don't get me in trouble, Papa Zuckerberg. So, um, so keep in mind that everything that we did up until this point was to get you comfortable with the idea of branding and building out a content strategy for your business. And after eight calls, we I was able to show you how to do it in thirty minutes. Now, you still have to go out there and build good content. And that's what I'm gonna do for this business. I'm gonna build good content and then I'm gonna give it away because I have, unfortunately, zero interest in this niche and I think maybe somebody else can make money off of it because I, I wouldn't have the time, I really don't. So I'll get you started, I'll show you how to do it, I'll get you some uh, blog posts in there talking all about spirituality, maybe I'll find God, maybe I'll find my spiritual self, who the heck knows. Uh, but what I will tell you is that at the end of this, somebody will have this and it'll be theirs because I don't want to do that. Okay, um, yeah. So without, uh, you know, you don't have to have questions about what we talked about today, what we talked about in the calls. You want to ask anything about e-commerce, you want to ask anything about life, I will try and answer it to the best of my ability. Uh, that is what I'm here for today. I love Fridays because really, it's when you can wear uh, jeans into the office place and a Hawaiian shirt. Fun story, my only office job was right out of high school or right out, right out of college. And I worked for AT&T selling advertising. Hated it, go figure. Who would think that now I'd be the one doing the advertising? You know, now that I'm looking at this page, I don't even know if we need that opt-in squeeze page. I don't even know. I think we just do the uh, IDPLR email capture page and just do that as the opt-in squeeze page. And then we can go straight to the thank you page after we get their email. And then we can have a Zapier set up so that we zap over that, uh, that book to them. I think that'll probably be best. Ah, who knows? We'll figure it out. You know, if I don't get any questions, everyone gets to leave early. So I'm going to give it another minute or two. If we have no questions, get the heck out of here and enjoy your weekend. Yeah, um, I still have to look at that today. I have been, I did not forget about you, um, but I've been going since I woke up. You even said I'll probably have those to, to make a video out of, which is, oh. another thing I have to do tonight. So just so you know, guys, the uh, this will get uploaded either tonight or tomorrow, but I do have a video that I just, I'm doing some uh, background music I'm adding to it, and then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. 
Um, and it's going to be how to build a content or a product page, um, how to, how to make content for, um, this one's just a posture corrector, nothing crazy. Um, but it's, it's just kind of walking you through how I do it. Now, am I going to, you know, is everyone going to be like, Oh my goodness, this is not something that we knew. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, but the key thing here is, uh, when you watch it, there's four steps that you should be taking when, when you're doing a product page. Uh, and some people say, hey, make sure you add a video, make sure you add a lot of photos. Might help. But the four steps in a good content uh, of your page, make sure you have a good hook, something to keep them reading, entice them to read more. Then reframe your problem so that they understand why they're there. Because uh, they it's been 10 seconds since they've seen the ad. They've probably forgotten. Make sure they know that the problem is not their fault. But you're here, number four, you're here to fix it. And then close them. Um, so make sure you follow that and you'll be good. All right, guys. Uh, no questions so far. Uh, so I'm going to get, get out of here. We're going to do this early tonight. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to upload that thing to YouTube. I will answer your questions, Casey, I promise. And then uh, enjoy your weekend. It's been a heck of a one. I'll see everybody on, uh, on Monday. Take care.